Big time car builders have to play mix and match with finesse. If it doesn't match up, fashion it, or they're in for a fit of the wrong kind. So far, it's taken three chassis for one Impala, and chassis number three has just come back from being straightened. The focus today was to uh, get the suspension mocked up, which we chose an air ride. Um, it's an easy install. It's uh, pretty simplistic. We don't have to weld or do anything. The original suspension on the car was coil springs front and back, and uh, we decided to go with an air ride uh, to get a much smoother ride, a much nicer ride, and it gives a lot of adjustability to set the ride heights that we're looking for. And then it's kind of cool when you pull up somewhere and you air it all the way down, and, and this car will go pretty close to sitting on the ground. There's a lot of travel in this air ride kit. These bags slam the Impala up or down a good six inches. So yeah, there's some stress involved. The uh, Curry rear end is modeled after a Ford nine inch. Um, although Curry builds an exceptionally strong and it seems to be the, the industry standard is to use a Curry rear end in building a car. We use a jack to line up all the bolts. Uh, once the, we jack it up, we, all the bolts line up so we can snag them in. Curry rear end is pretty much just all the brackets are the same as the stock uh, Impala, so it just bolts right up. The A-arms were missing, uh, some the components that actually bolt the A-arm onto the frame, so we had to go take them off the other chassis as well. Missing components are no worry when you've got an extra chassis out back. All it takes is a little old school salvage. If you're gonna go salvage yard, you may as well go all the way. I'm not sure of the technical name for these suspension parts. Dog bones seemed appropriate. They don't come with the air ride kit, so don't toss your old ones. I think the, the whole design of the car is gonna come together really well. I'm real happy with uh, where we stand right now as far as the design of the car. Not everyone is pleased over where we are in the process. The guy getting parts sees part numbers and bills. The builders are watching progress. In all honesty, I think we're behind on the build, so I'm, I'm uh, uh, not nervous at this time, but I'm getting there. Um, there's been some delays, I think, on the motor. I think the motor's two weeks out. Uh, I don't believe we have brakes yet, and this is all imperative for the mock-up, so um, I'm, uh, I'm getting nervous. We're starting to see some progress. The body's been dipped. The, most of the metal work is done on the car. The frame and chassis is being done. Uh, we're starting to get a lot of parts in. Uh, we got the upholstery coming in probably in the next week or so, and uh, we'll have, we've got the glass, and we're just getting a lot of the missing parts uh, together. Uh, so the car, the car and the project should proceed very, very quickly. It's all about perspective. Having taillight trim on hand won't move the car down the street or stop it at the corner either. The 64 Impala may have a lot of components and some really nice new tools, but one thing we could use right now, a hoist.